hello my friends welcome to my youtube channel techmart i wishing you all are doing good today i'll demonstrate uh, and i'll give you the basic overview how we'll integrate data power uh, api connect analytics and portal uh, i'll use uh, uh, the version 10.0.1.5 for all like data power will have the same version 10.0.1.5 and api connect portal and, and analytics uh, though I did install API Connect in my local machine, but I'll tell you uh, how we can integrate that one also. Uh, the installation process is totally different uh, of V5 as we compare to uh, V10. So uh, I can say that like uh, the installation process of V5 and V10 is totally different. Like in V5, we have the OVA file and uh, directly we can install that file into our VM machine. But in V10, First, we need to generate the ISO file and uh, along with the OVA file, we have to upload that ISO file into VMware machine. I'll show you uh, where we have to do that configuration. Like here, uh, uh, I have uh, run all the server like uh, data power, API, API, uh, data power, API connect and portal. As I told you, I don't have analytics in my machine. So I'll show you the ISO file here in the settings. Uh, here, here we have to upload the ISO file, which in the ISO file basically what we do, uh, we have to mention like uh, what will be the IP, uh, the gateway, the DNS server, what will be the DN DNS name uh, of the server, which like for API Connect we have different uh, DNS and portal and analytics. So, all such kind of configuration we have to do in the ISO file and while booting we have to upload that ISO file. So during booting time uh, uh, the VM will take all the configuration with the ISO file and uh, it will make the machine ready accordingly. So uh, so this is the main difference uh, in the installation process of V5 and V10. So uh, let's go to uh, data power. Uh, here I have data power. So let me log into data power first. So uh, in data in V10, uh, what happens like uh, when you integrate? Uh, uh, first, I'll tell you uh, the process of V5. So in V5, whenever you'll integrate uh, data power into CMC, automatically a domain will be created. Okay. Uh, but in V10, we have to create a domain by ourselves. Okay. Uh, you can create that domain as you know. In the default domain, we have to, by the application domain, we can create a domain name here. Okay. Like I have created that API Connect V10 domain. So uh, we'll go to that domain. And here, uh, the first thing we have to do configure is API Connect Gateway Service here. So here we need to mention uh, the, uh, as I told you that in V5, uh, we can configure the IPs, but in V10, everything uh, works on the DNS. So uh, we have to have the DNS name, uh, then only it works. And uh, we have mentioned the DNS name here and the local port uh, and we have to create the TLS client and the server client here. And here the certificate extension, uh, we shall have the dot .pem, uh, it will work. Otherwise, if you have different kind of extension, it may will not work. So uh, it, it's a suggestible that the certificate and the key extension shall be dot .pem. I'll show you if you want. Yeah, I have, I'm using the self sense uh, PAM files here. See here. And yeah, this is my key. Okay. The extension is dot PAM. And here is my certificate. Those are self signed. And I, I kept the extension at dot PAM. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, I'm having one TLS profile. In the TLS profile, we have to just mention the certificates only. So I'm using the same, uh, the crypto key and here, the certificate here. And after that, uh, after that, we have to mention one port. Uh, by default, it takes uh, 9443, but we can change the port as uh, 443. So, 
after that uh, we have to mention the gateway pairing we have to create one pairing uh, after that uh, once the same configuration will use while we'll integrate the data part with the b10 okay so here is my cmc so here is login okay so uh, first we'll go to the resources here not resource in the topology okay so in the topology we have to register our service uh, uh, i registered two services in the portal and uh, the gateway okay uh, if in the portal you have to uh, i'll show you uh, uh, let's we'll discuss this one later first we'll okay uh, here is our api gateway uh, service and uh, i didn't associate the analytics uh, till yet okay so only if api gateway here i'll show you so here uh, like the port which we mentioned uh, here uh, three and uh, three triple zero and the uh, dns name we'll use the same here and uh, the port here uh, we are we are using triple four three so we don't need to mention it explicitly because it's a default port is triple four three here if you are using different port like uh, nine double four three or any port so we have to mention here colon and the port uh, number okay and here is the portal i have configured the portal so let's see the portal configuration also so here we have to mention what will be the endpoint of your portal and uh, we are using the default TLS client profile here and this will be the link of your website URL. so while generating the ISO file uh, we shall mention the same uh, DNS name otherwise it will not work so while creating the ISO file you shall be very careful so that, that if there is a, a mismatch of DNS name so it will not work okay so uh, after that when uh, when will you add uh, data power here uh, you will you will you will able to see your data power uh, settings here if a gateway so automatically the diff this diff uh, handler will be create here and this default uh, triple four three handler okay so here it will show uh, whenever you will create a sandbox catalog or any other catalog here so as of now i have only one set sandbox catalog if you'll create like as per your requirement and the different environment like sit uh, dev you will create whenever you will create uh, the catalog automatically it will be uh, visible here okay uh, so uh, this is also one of the main setting we have to take care of after that here are some api definition whatever uh, api you will create and uh, your api connect you can see all the apis here okay so as of now i have only one api and it will show you uh, it, it's belong to which catalogs okay and if you are using which uh, which also operation it, it will show here it will show uh, it's a rest, rest api and the, what is the base path and what what is the version so uh, and the assembly you are using uh, for that i am using just one gateway script only so if you go here in the role it will show the assembly also okay so this is my policy here the gateway policy that is uh, th the same uh, script file is available in our temporary folder also okay so uh, these are the few things uh, let's go to our cmc first so <clears throat> after creating uh, the topologies uh, we can there are some other setting also like resources if there are these are the default registries available in the api connect and if you want to use some ldap registry you can create here ldap registries and those ldap registries you can uh, use while login to uh, uh, cmc and your api connect so whatever kind of registry you want to use you can define here uh, other is TLS uh, client profile like uh, if you want to create some key store key store and a trust store you can define here uh, in the key store you can uh, like upload your dot pf 
P12 or PFX file and if you want to get some if you want to put some certificates only then you can upload in total store these are the default uh, key store available uh, into CMC cloud manager okay like uh, uh, while in, uh, integrate with the analytics and the portal uh, it will use the default TLS profile but as per requirement we can change those TLS profiles so if you want to create some more provider here <coughs> and so we can add both provider here notification we have to uh, while user will <coughs> sign up and you want to send notification email to them so we have to, for that we have to configure some uh, SMTP servers uh, after that we will create one provider organization for my lab I have created one a provider organization uh, name is lab and owner is uh, myself I, I registered with my email ID Okay. Here are some few few settings also uh, like uh, onboarding uh, when with that invitation link will expire. You can go through all these settings so you'll come to know these are the basic settings only. A uh, user registry as I told you that whenever you'll create some registry here like for uh, by default it, it will take a cloud manager local user registry. Uh, but if you will have some LDAP or third party kind of LDAP registry so it will be visible here and you can select which uh, registry you want to use uh, same for the API manager uh, API manager also like if you want to configure uh, any LDAP or third party registry you can uh, edit you can create here so it will uh, you can uh, by login you can choose which kind of uh, registry you want to use so here are some roles uh, here uh, we can see uh, uh, which roles have which kind of uh, permission like admin has all the permissions the member have uh, the org he can uh, view the org organization only like organization manager okay so you can go through all the roles okay you can see what kind of authorities uh, of permission he has so here are default roles available as per the users okay uh, here endpoints like for your API manager uh, the endpoints will be uh, this one okay uh, and the platform rest apis okay so these are some endpoints we can see notification i just told you we have to uh, configure a smtp server okay so i have configured for myself a catalog it's a default catalog here okay uh, some audit setting if you want to uh, add some editing auditing setting you can do here as of now my auditing is disabled okay the tokens if you want to manage key store uh, assignment and, and key store history for tokens you can mention here so this is about the cmc okay uh, let me go to uh, ep connect okay here i'll log in So here we'll develop our uh, all the APIs. Okay, uh, I create only one API. I'll go through th uh, this API later. Here is our manage. So as I told you that uh, as of now I have only one catalog, but, but you can get multiple catalog here. Uh, you can see what all the products published for that particular catalog. Consumer who are the old uh, consumers here. We can see here. Here are the application. I created one application for myself just for testing purpose only. So who are the subscription? No subscription yet. Task if uh, uh, we can do some configuration like that whenever uh, any user will uh, want to subscribe to their uh, product, so we'll get uh, approval for that until we'll not approve this uh, their request. Uh, uh, he can't use that public. Uh, he can't use that product so here analytics i don't have i didn't configure analytics here but uh, if analytics is configured here you can see all the apis uh, api api related analytics we can see here here are the members which all members belong to that catalog so here are the resources like user history uh, we can uh, create uh, and add some ldap history or third party history here and here the L TLS like 
again as i showed you in the cmc we can get the key stores here that that will be belongs to your apis like if uh, in any api you want to use some tls client profile or like of uh, tls client profile then you have to create some key store and test store here and that key store will be uh, available here first you need to create key store and test store and that that tls client profile will be available here like if you create tls client profile it will ask you to create some key store and test store here and you can select the ciphers you can enable and disable the ciphers here okay Here the auth provider like if you want to secure your apis uh, with the auth security so first you have to create the auth here and you can use i'll i'll make a video on the auth also so uh, we'll in the detail we'll go go through uh, uh, in that video okay so here is the billing in the billing uh, i don't have any uh, any third party billing system uh, if you have any anyone you can configure uh, by adding here uh, next are the members we can see what are all the members uh, belong to this api connect and here are some settings like onboarding uh, when the invitation invitation link will expire you can edit all these settings here and the roles what are the old uh, old roles belong to uh, so we can go through the roles you can we can see for a user which roles are assigned notification as i told you that like we can do some customization of the notification also like i'll show you that what is the image i don't have this configuration for myself but we can do uh, the customization here we'll try like when you you uh, for a uh, provider organization like if you send the invitation link okay this will be uh, your default message but you can update this message here and you can save those uh, settings like same if you want to uh, you want to send a member invitation okay this uh, the user will get this message but you can customize your message as per your requirement okay so after that Okay, this is all about CMs and uh, this API Connect. Okay. Okay. Uh, here is the catalog. Okay. Uh, catalog. Yes. <clears throat> In the catalog, there is one more things. Members. Analytics. Okay. Here are uh, the catalog settings. In the catalog settings, uh, we can see uh, who will be the owner of that catalog okay and the main thing is gateway service here it will show you uh, your gateway service which you added in your uh, uh, cmc okay so you can if, whenever you publish any uh, apis you can see uh, like uh, last time when i published it showed after publishing uh, the service it is it was uh, live after three seconds like that okay so you can see you can see the load level here like normal uh, high or uh, critical kind of event load you can see here is the life cycle approval i don't have any life cycle approval yet okay so here we can see the roles onboarding process okay i have enabled the self onboarding okay so we, i enable this so if you want while doing the onboarding approval we can make this uh, tab uh, on okay so here the invitation roles and like we, we we can do some configuration like invitation timeout we can change that one so we can do some basic configuration here uh, again uh, the user stays it in it yes here okay what provider a pay endpoint uh, when we'll call uh, any uh, service it will be our endpoint okay so uh, I, I i'll show you how we'll use that one okay and we can uh, skip the provider, provider organization for that uh, i'll show you how we can uh, omit our provider organization name okay like if you want to uh, make this url is very short short kind of like that uh, okay uh, for example if this one not this one okay Copy this one. Okay. Like if 
you don't want we can easily uh, omit our catalog name if you want to omit the provider or name also we can omit and like after that your base path like we have as welcome okay and we don't have any operations name like we are using this one okay so uh, we can uh, we can uh, short our uh, api calling url okay i'll show you that one later so okay some tls client profile i have only one client profile that is default client profile but we can make more here i have configured the portal okay <coughs> So when you configure the portal in CMC, we can see that portal here. You just need to add that one. Okay, and this is my portal URL. And as I told you that I, I am using the default user registry, but once you configure a, a LDAP registry, you will able to see that user registry here as well. Okay, whatever registry you will add, you can see all the registry here also. So here are some catalog properties you can add billing you can add if you are using some billing configure <coughs> billing configuration you can add and update here also okay we are not using any uh, server which will take care of all your billings okay so uh, uh, here i created only one service okay uh, that is my service uh, i just made for this testing purpose only so here it's a base path i'm using this welcome base path here is uh, we have to mention like what kind of your request and response like json or if you want to use another kind of uh, request and response output here security like if i didn't use any security here like uh, if you want to use security uh, like client id and the secret or if you want to use oath so we can add here in my uh, later video i'll i'll show you how we can add the securities okay some path like here i have only one operations operation name is this get you can add multiple operations here definition as of now i'm not using any definition i'll make video for that also so how we can use the definitions for request and response messages okay uh like i'll go to my service again okay here gateway sir gateways okay so here it will show you some uh, uh, defaults uh, module available in the api connect like operation switch switch throw okay uh, as i am not using the v5 compatibility mode if you are using the v5 compatibility mode you may see the different module for that okay so like json to xml map parse reduction xml to json xslt okay uh, some policies we can use gateway script graphical ql okay invoke policy low rate limit set variable validate okay and some securities client jwt we can use user security uh, validate jwt and if you have some custom policies also when you upload uh, the custom policy you can see so like uh, i i'm using one uh, custom policy mq invoke i'll make a video for that uh, later so i'll show you how we can integrate uh, api connect uh, with uh, mq uh, q managers okay so i'll make uh, a separate video for that uh, so here i wrote a very simple script like here uh, i'm printing a message that will we can see into a data power when we'll uh, trigger that service and we can see the output as data power integration test okay like i'll make it here like data power v10 i'll publish that product okay i'll save that one and let me show you but portal also that uh, we can see the apis okay uh this is my portal this uh, this is totally a different view as compared to v5 portal so here uh, we can see one service is available here let me sign in i can see uh what we can see after login okay. okay so here i am the user uh, if you want to create some apps we can create app here okay and after creating you will get some client id and client secret here so 
uh, here the format of client id and secret is totally different i'll uh, make a video for that uh, how we can add the security feature at that time i'll create the apps okay so here is the api we can see that this is the api okay okay yeah see so this is the url of my apis okay so let's go to this url here okay okay so as of now it is having data power integration test okay so we'll do make a small change in that and we'll see uh, how it will behave okay here i'm uh, we have saved that one let me publish that okay publish existing product we have we'll use the welcome product okay <coughs> We are using the sandbox if you'll have multiple catalog you'll able to see all the catalogs here and here, let me publish this one okay yeah, it takes some time to reflect the changes and let me we'll try so uh, we can see that we can see the output data power with an integration test okay so uh, as i told you that we can see uh, whenever you uh, make more apis into your api connect okay uh, here you can see all the apis details here okay and in the api gateway you can see all the sometime you, you may face some issue that you created the catalog but the catalog is not available here so you can manually select that catalog and you can add that one and in the API connect API gateway you can create more handlers here okay so all the handlers will be visible here uh, but uh, you have whenever you uh, do a restart uh, your uh, data power only one default handler will be available here okay so for that we can write some gateway extension uh, I'll make a video for that also like uh, uh, if you are using some uh, triple four uh, handler for mutual SSL, okay. But in case if your system will take auto restart and uh, and any time for some upgrade or anything, if you have to uh, make your system restart by yourself, then the handler will not be available here. So for that we have to upload some gateway extension. I'll show you how we can write those extra gateway extension and where we have to upload those gateway extension so in my today's video just i explained uh, the integration of data power uh, version v10 10.0.1.5 uh, with the version of the, with the same version of api connect uh, and how we can do some basic configuration inside the cmc and the api connect and uh, in the portal uh, i'll i'll create apps and i'll show you how we can we will use those client ID and the secret while uh, accessing those APIs that are having those securities. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys watching my videos. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe it. And please click on notification uh, icon so that you will get the notification of newly created videos. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you very much.